Good afternoon everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a while, it's been a while. Uh, today we're having a celebration. Uh, a celebration of three years of Porsche ownership. Yeah, so uh, three years ago, well, nearing three years, actually it is three years, on the fur, it's a little three bit... Three years ago, uh, beginning of February, I picked up the car, I think it was February 1st or February the 2nd, I bought a Porsche 997 Carrera, 2006 model, it's here somewhere, I'll put the link. Man, time flies, time flies. Uh, during that time, uh, I've had pretty much... Uh, Worry-free ownership and some of you might be saying yes, Michael. Yes, Michael You have had worry-free ownership, but you don't really drive your car that much because you're always traveling uh, That's true. Uh, my car when I picked it up in 2017 had uh, 40,000 kilometers 40,000 kilometers it now has uh, 50 almost 52,000 kilometers. I think it is close to 52,000 kilometers not sure of the miles conversion, someone else can do that for me. Um, yeah, so I guess what, 12,000 Ks in three years is not a lot. Uh, three, 4,000 Ks a year, you know. I think a lot of people probably only drive their Porsches that much, a lot of people might drive them a lot more. Um, I haven't done any major long road trips with it. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, country roads and winding roads in Australia. Uh, this is one of those videos here. Um, but yeah, my Porsche journey, I've pretty much shared my whole Porsche journey on YouTube. Uh, I did a video in August 2016, I think it was. Uh, one of the first sort of videos that actually took off on YouTube for me. Uh, I did a video in August 2016, excuse me, and um, trying to be sensible buying a Porsche 911, where I talked about the pros and cons, I talked about the emotional uh, feeling, I talked about what I was looking for, I think in that video, and I haven't watched it in a long time, I think I actually was saying I was looking for a Carrera S. I remember when I first started searching for 911s, I did find a really good Carrera S in uh, Queensland in Australia, uh, but the guy turned out to be very painful and never got back to me, so that kind of fell through. Um, but I ended up buying my car, uh, and I had a lot of help from my friend as well, who you would have seen in this video when I'm driving his GT3. Um, my friend Steve, who helped me along the way because he's had, uh, he's had Porsches uh, for many, many years, starting with a 964, 993, 997, GT3 he has now. Um, so it's, it's really good when you've got friends to help you. And I guess that's kind of what I wanted to make my YouTube channel like, uh, in that during that process of me looking at buying a 911, looking at the 997, what I was going through at the time myself, um, and trying to be that, I guess, that friend, that person who's online that, that shares that experience. Uh, and James at Auto Amateur was doing it at the same time when he had his 997, and he was actually doing it when he had his 996. You know, people like Nick Murray, I've been watching, uh, Car Fanatic, uh, uh, there's a few, and I can never remember the names of the channels. It's really terrible of me, but, you know, there was quite a few that I was watching as well to get to get me to the point where I was willing, I was ready to make a decision, you know. So you have your friends, you have your online friends, uh, you use all the resources to make sure you, you don't make the wrong decision. And really thinking back on it, I probably overthought it, I probably overthought it, because really the cost, the cost, the maintenance, the upkeep, all those sort of things, they're not really that bad. Uh, like I said before, I had an a Audi A4 S line before, a Vant wagon and you know that used to cost me a lot more to get it serviced and that was an at an independent um, So I don't think the 911 is is that expensive to run as some of you might know I just had a service here um, And in that service a couple of issues showed up uh, My brakes are going to need to change uh, but like I said in the previous video the brakes were kind of Porsche uh, Porsche in Sydney said that they needed to be changed three years ago, so I've got three years out of them I will do that uh, end of the year, um, probably when I get the final, so when I get the next service done. Uh, the other thing that turned up was the oil pressure gauge sens sensor. Uh, a lot of you guys who I've been speaking to on Instagram or, or YouTube, I got that fixed. That was a sender unit. Uh, it costs quite a lot of money. Um, 
it cost me 400 odd Australian dollars to install. Um, I think that's mainly labor because I don't think the part was that much when I looked at the price in uh, the UK. Um, so that was done. What else? Oh, the steering rack. So the steering rack I tried to do before I left Sydney. I ran out of time. I didn't have enough time because I had to leave a week earlier. Um, so the, set, uh, the, the power steering rack is going to be reconditioned. I think that's a general thing I've read on the Renless forum. So that happens with the 997 steering rack, common issue after a few years. Uh, so that's about 1500 Australian dollars, I think roundabout uh, all these are just guesses and uh, then I'll have to get a wheel alignment done too because my wheel alignment was slightly out for some reason so I'm going to get the wheel alignment done at the same time um, but apart from that I haven't really had any major costs um, and it's been a really really great car um, you would have seen the mods that I've done with it I did the Fister Sports exhaust some leather mods uh, I did you know the console lid cover I did the key holes around in leather uh, I got the aluminium fuel cap the aluminium look fuel cap uh, which is always all of our uh, favorites we all like the aluminium fuel look aluminium look fuel cap um, what else did I get I got the what else did I buy I can't even remember oh the wheels of course my wheels my wheels from Chris at XL wheels in the UK who had an immaculate pair of lobster claws for me, which I made him uh, customize, which he does all the time. He customized them, two-tone uh, GT4, GT3, Carrera S991 color. Um, so he did those. Uh, here's, an, here's a video of the wheel video if you haven't seen it. Um, I couldn't be happier. They were delivered to the UK, to the flat in the UK, and I brought them back, uh, two wheels in my luggage, and I shipped two wheels back. Um, Fister exhaust, like I said, which I got shipped to Autohouse Hamilton in Sydney, and then um, they fitted it for me. Um, I haven't really done a lot. I haven't really done that much. I mean, considering people like James at Auto Amateur, he's, he's done a lot more to, to his 997 and to his 991 in the period I've had my 997. So I don't really do a lot. I like to keep it quite simple. Oh, the stripe. Of course, the stripe from uh, Carrera decals, Ren decals which I don't even think they're still making the stripes anymore. They seem to be, their site seem to be devoid of any stripes. Uh, maybe you need to contact Chris at uh, Carrera Decals if you want that stripe. But that's where I got it from, from Carrera Decals, and then he changed his name to Ren Decals. A lot of you guys have got stripes from him. Um, but I like the mods I've done. I think the car is, I think the car looks uh, tasteful. I didn't want to go too crazy. I never wanted to make it look not like a, 911. I always like the look of the singers, and I guess that was my inspiration for the wheels and the stripes. I like that kind of singer look, um, even though it is a 997 and it's not, you know, a classic air cool that singer use. Um, but all in all, I, you know, it's been a great car, and and all the messages I get through Instagram and through YouTube, I keep telling people, you know, if you don't hesitate to buy a 997.1, get your checks done, and it, and it's a great car. But we've had three years of ownership. I've had three years of you guys uh, supporting me on this channel and uh, watching my videos and bearing with me with the lack of content that happens every now and again, just purely due to uh, work and travel commitments. Um, but it's been a great ride, and I don't know what's gonna, what I'm gonna do next, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna buy next. Um, you know, I was thinking in this video here. I think I spoke about it. I was thinking of. Um, selling the 997 uh, because of the lack of use and because now I'm, I'm pretty much based on well, we live in Bahrain um, for the next few years. So the car's, you know, stored in Sydney. It was a tough decision. It was a decision I had to make and I decided I am going to keep it. Um, I will upgrade and when I upgrade, I'll upgrade to a GT3. Now that might be a 997 or it may even be a 992. Sorry guys, it might be a 992 if they come down in price. Um, but I do want to, uh, I do want to get a GT3. Um, if a good Targa came up, I really like the Targas. Uh, I like the GT3. I like the uh, 991.1 GT3 RS. Uh, I like the 997.1 or .2 GT3 or GT3 RS. Uh, so there's lots of possibilities there and there's lots of um, things. My ideal garage is to have one basic Carrera and one GT car Porsche. That's what I want to have. I want to have one basic Carrera, 
whether that is the 997 or whether it's an air-cooled 964 or an air-cooled 993, um, maybe, maybe that's what happens. Uh, and then the other car will be a GT3 or a GT3 RS. Uh, that's the combination I want to have. Uh, I think it's a really good combination and it's something that I'm thinking about and I will work towards. That's if I stop buying watches, which is actually uh, taking away from my GT fund. Um, I've had a bit of a bad habit and I just got called that another one's arrived, which I have to make a decision if I'm going to buy it. So all these distractions from, from the Porsche life that we lead. But yeah, uh, I gotta keep saying um because uh, someone complained about it in the last video, but that's just how I speak, so anyway. But anyway, that's it for today. Uh, like I said, three years of Porsche ownership. It's been a great ride. Uh, it's been great fun. Thanks for joining in. Uh, thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the comments. And like I said, if you're going to buy 997.1, you want any help, let me know in the comments uh, or uh, you can uh, message me through Instagram, either Michael Bath or P997.1. And uh, let's chat. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.